I'm Oliver Trevino for The Hollywood Reporter in studio with this handsome man, Craig Solgin. How are you? I'm good, mate. How are you? Good. It's nice to see you sitting down. I know. Tell me yeah, about it. You're a busy man. Uh, I, 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 well, it's been a busy few months for sure, so uh, thank you for having me in. And of it's course. nice to be here. Of course, mate. Yeah, Runaways. Huge Marvel phenomenon that's, you know, entering into something like that. It's quite, quite a lot of pressure. It's definitely a lot of pressure. Yeah. I'm so happy to be doing the show. M to be working for Marvel, the brand is incredible. Uh, thankfully, my two bosses have like a great track record, mm -hmm. Josh Schwartz right. and Stephanie Savage. So it's kind of like a, you know a great Marvel show, a great company mixed with a great pair of showrunners. Right. And thankfully, uh, yeah, the show seems to be liked. It's and good. Well received. It's good. It's good. Um, I told you it was my weekend. So uh, that was your yeah, guilty yeah, pleasure. I'm now a Chase Stein fan. <laughs> okay, thank yeah. you, thank you. Um, and you're doing all right. 25 years old, and you're playing a high school teenager still. I do think it's good. It's good. This will probably be my last you high do? school. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's good moisturizer. Greg uses good moisturizer. Yeah, and uh, I have to shave. To be fair, I have to shave in the morning before I go to work. Nice wet shave. Get close to the skin, and then at lunch. Sometimes you may have to, you know, give it a, give it a there touch. There you go. Up. Perfect. Look, look at all the tips we're getting. <laughs> um, let's talk about the show, though, because as I mentioned, it's, it's Runaways and it's, you know, based off the Marvel, you know, series. Mm -hmm. um, so going into that, when you first auditioned, a lot more pressure than, not that you haven't done big shows before, but this is, you know, you're a superhero now. It's entering into this franchise. For sure. It's exciting, but at the same time, there's definitely a lot of pressure. I think when I first got told about the right. show, I didn't actually know what it was. Marvel are very like secretive with their projects. So for me, it was very important to just kind of concentrate on the material, mm -hmm. concentrate on the sides, just be true to that character. And then once I found out, obviously, that this was a Marvel show right. and, you know, a big Marvel comic, right. uh, yeah, then the nerves started kicking in. And over the course of, you know, three or four auditions, uh, thankfully, they believed in me and, and, you know, believed that I could be Chase, your favorite right, they're character. My favorite character. Yeah. My favorite character. Um, he is a, he's a very layered character. There's a lot going on in Chase's life. Um, you've got the family drama, the dad. You know, there's a lot more than just what you'd expect from a, from a role like this. For sure. I think, you know, when you first hear Marvel mm -hmm. superhero show, mm -hmm. you just think that's what it is. And this show isn't actually that. It's a show that's driven by characters. Uh, driven by love mainly, mm -hmm. um, and so isn't everything. Yes, yes, <laughs> including my life. Right, there you go. Uh, I didn't um, want to say that, but you just opened <laughs> up that whole box, which we get to later. Oh boy. Um, so, so the question. Well, so wait. wait, wait <laughs> the question was what? Sorry. It's a laid character. There's a lot more to Chase than you'd expect. Oh yes. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, there is a lot going on with Chase. Uh, I think in the comics he was very one-dimensional mm -hmm. character. No offense to Brian K. Vaughan. Right. Brian knows I love him. Um, but that was just kind of what he wrote in the comics and we want to try and stretch the show and stretch this character out for three, four, five seasons. Mm -hmm. And so Josh and Steph, our showrunners, did a great job at diving into the character and kind of expanding the character and also making him a little bit more likable, intelligent and kind of badass, right. I guess. Right. And they gave you me, can say it. And they you gave me a cool like superhero right. to go with it. Right. So uh, yeah, it's been fun as an actor to dive deeper because Hopefully, I'll be doing this show for the next right, three or four right. years, and so I don't want to be playing just like a one-dimensional character. Right. Well, it's safe going into it because you mentioned the team that's behind it, and in a world where TV shows can just be cut instantly, it's nice to have a team like that, you know, behind you, hoping that you're going to last a few seasons, I guess. Yeah, and I think by the time you get to the end of the first season, you realise that, oh, wow, like, yes, I've watched ten episodes, but I still really have no idea what's going on. Right, right. Which is a great, actually, right. sign for a TV show. Like, I just think by the end of the first season, the show's just getting going. Right. Uh, and so I think the fans, from the response so far, has been very positive, but every episode is left on such a good cliffhanger mm -hmm. to where they're all, they are tuning in, they are waiting right. for the next episode, and they're excited. Right. And Hulu released five first, and now the others are coming out the, yeah the, the, yeah they released the first batch first right. and then they are releasing one a week every Tuesday right um, but if you sneak here and, and you're in New York then it's on at midnight on like the Monday Tuesday brink right Slash, and then if you're in LA, you can kind of cheeky, you know, watch it on the Monday night at 9 p.m. All the secrets. That, yeah, All the secrets. That's if you are like a real fan. All the secrets. Dedicated fan. Um, are you a fan of that way of TV viewing now? The way it's kind of moving into that format. I mean, I guess there's a saying which is like, if you can't beat them, you join them. Right. And so I feel like that is kind of where our industry is going. I understand from an audience perspective, which is like why an audience wants to 
binge a show. Mm -hmm. They're either hungover on a Saturday or right. a Sunday right. or a weekday <laughs> and they want to watch their show. Right. And so I think for us, um, as, as an actor, all you can do is concentrate on just delivering it, you know, staying true to your performance, mm -hmm. giving your best shot. But me personally, I do like kind of teasing the audience a little bit, bringing them on. Making this, them wait. Bringing them Making on this them journey wait. and kind of keeping right. the conversation going rather than just like, here's six months of work. Right. Right. Here you go. It's like, uh, you want it to be a little bit like appreciated, right, right. I guess. And with that being said, uh, for Chase, how much in advance do you know of where his storyline's going? Because obviously it's released in, you know, blocks now as opposed to one a week. Is it different for you? Uh, well, yeah, it's different for me because we're shooting uh, each episode in chronological order. Right, right. So Josh and Steph don't really tell us. Ah what is happening with our character unless they feel like it is vital for, right. for, for that specific scene mm -hmm. to know that information. And so I kind of like that. Sometimes right. going into a situation uh, or going into the unknown right. is kind of exciting and you don't overthink it. And it's more organic. Yeah, especially right. as right. an actor, you want to just right. kind of be present, right. which is exactly what those characters would be doing. So yeah, yeah. I don't like to know too much. Right. You did know that you have to be American because the American accent is pretty impressive in the show. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Thank and you me. needed to know that you needed to get in shape because I remember you you were hitting the gym instantly after getting the part. It was intense. Right. Uh, the American accent is always uh, is always something I've had to do ever since I moved here. Uh, so, you know, like me and you, mm -hmm. it's fun being English, right, right. but at the same time, you kind of have to imitate a bunch of Americans mm -hmm. all the time to get good at it. They think it's rude. I just think it's research. I leave that to Greg. I don't, <laughs> I don't do any imitations at all. That's you. <laughs> and so, so yeah, get, the American accent is obviously something that I've always had to do. But getting in shape was the hardest thing for me on this one. Mm -hmm. It was pure protein, not much carbs, a lot of unhappiness. And yeah, exactly. Doesn't sound fun. No, at not all. at all. Doesn't so, sound fun. So yeah, it was it was uh, it was definitely a challenge, and thankfully I have a trainer mm -hmm. um, who cracks the whip. Right. There and you go. yeah, and then but but since we started shooting, I've definitely put on four or five pounds, maybe seven. Okay. I don't know. He's counting. Someone. <laughs> He's counting. He's counting. Um, so going back to obviously, uh, you mentioned binge watching. What was the last show that you binge watched? Oof, um, I like to watch, I just started watching This Is Us. Okay. I met one of the actors from This Is Us the other day and I simply just had to go up as a fanboy and be like, yo, my name's Greg, you are so good. Uh, I'm such a fan of the show that I even tweeted the This Is Us writers okay. at 1 a.m. Uh, and they text back immediately and was like, Oh, that's so weird you're up. We're up too. Thanks so much for watching the show. We're in the writer's room right now. And I was there like, oh, go. this is kind of cool. That's what happens when you're Greg Sulkin. You can just tweet writers and they get straight back to you. Uh, to be honest, it was so, sort of like, I love your show. And they were like, thanks, Greg. And I was like, no, 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 I love your show. And they were like, yeah, thanks, Greg. And I was like, no, what I'm trying to say is like, I want to be on your show. Right. And I don't think they got that one yet. So <laughs> I'm sure they will. Just carry on tweeting. Just <laughs> yeah, carry on yeah, sending yeah. the messages. I love this as well. Yeah, yeah. Who was the actor? His name is Justin Hartley, ah. who plays the actor right, on the right, show. Right. Good looking chap. Right. Um, and I mean, I just think that show, like, it's written so well. The actors are incredible, mm -hmm. has a lot of heart. And I think that's the type of TV that I respond to. And I think a lot of audiences respond to right. because, again, it's driven by character. Right. Um, taking it back a bit to 17 years old, you were 17, Wizards of Waverly mm -hmm. Place. And then all the shows, like Pretty Little Liars and all these shows, and now Superhero Marvel. This journey, it's been it's been pretty incredible. I mean, it's a strong eight years. Yeah, it's been... Constantly working. Yeah, to be honest, right. I haven't stopped, right. th thankfully. I mean, it's tough, as, as you know, obviously, you're mm. not from here either, and so it is definitely hard moving to a different country, right. halfway around the world, making new friends, mm -hmm. trusting people, trusting people in the workplace, trusting your managers, your agents, your publicists. Right. It's overwhelming I think at any age but at 17 it's a lot to deal with I think the one perk of being 17 and moving here was that I had no fear and so I just went with it right and so I just was here for the ride my dad was always just like be nice to people turn up on time although this interview I was a few minutes late <laughs> um, so no yeah, one LA noticed until now oh. you've just dropped yourself in it <laughs> well, LA, you know LA, uh, LA changes people I guess right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and so yeah it's been a crazy 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 ride and to be honest, I wouldn't be wouldn't be here without people believing right, in me. Right. It's like the producers and the directors who believe in, mm -hmm. in that I can bring it to 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 the screen because there are thousands of actors right. here, and uh, 
you know, it's a lot of it's hard work, but at the same time, a lot of it's like right time, right place. Right. And so thankfully, I've been very lucky. And there has to be a mutual trust. You have to trust that they're going to do what they bring to the table as well, I guess. Yeah, no, and thankfully, the people that I've worked with, sometimes I go down the list and I'm like, wow, this is kind of mm -hmm. cool. Like, my first ever show was with Selena Gomez. Right, right. Like, that's, it's quite rare. Right. And, Playing uh, Selena's boyfriend, yeah. which is which is yeah, it's good. It's one to tick off the tick off the list. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the working part. It's yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the working um, part. And and so yeah, it's been crazy. And then obviously I jumped onto Pretty Little Lies, mm -hmm. which was a, f a show with a huge right. fan base. Uh, and then I've done indies where I've gone and been weird for two months and three months in mm -hmm. Spokane, Washington, and been like a weird actor. Right. And then I've gone on to like really popular commercial TV shows. So I feel like the last eight years has been a great balance right. uh, of things and projects where I've thankfully learned. From. What's the big thing you've learned as an actor in this journey? I mean, obviously you're still so young, but in the eight years, what would you say that pops into mind something you've learned along the way? That stillness is everything. And it's something that I still need to improve on okay. as an actor. It's like, if you look at all the greats on screen, it's so effortless and they are so still. Uh, so it's it's something that you know that you're sort of born with, mm -hmm. but at the same time you learn. You know, there are cameras all over on set, and so you have to realize that there is a technical aspect to film and TV. And so I think for me, that's what I've I've learned the most, mm -hmm. and I'm still learning. Right, right. And being on a set like a Marvel show, it's tough, right? It's tough because there is that added pressure, and then to be you know bring the stillness as well. Especially on a on a very like physical mm -hmm. show, right? Because there are moments when we're actually falling down. There are moments when we're flying through glass. There are moments when you're on the floor. So what you do as a superhero, yeah, exactly. Is what, is what happened. And right. so to be have that energy and have the, the, you know that real emotion, right? And and energy, it's very tough to then go and be very still for an important mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. And so. Yeah, it's tough and you just kind of have to try and right. find the balance. And also for me, I'm always so close with the camera guys. So I have, I, they're the first people I say hello to on set because they are in control of my, my performance. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I'll always try and speak to them. Right. Because if you can be comfortable in front of the camera, man, I mean, that's pretty much who you're that's in front it. of. That's yeah. it. Um, were you a superhero fan before all this kicked off? With Mal? Were you a comic book fan? or? I think every young right person always wants to be either a super you know super like superman or superwoman i think that's always a dream which of the two did you want to be i wanted to be the superwoman okay perfect yeah, yeah, i mean yeah, yeah. i'm the same, I'm the same. that's what up. we have in common like we've done so many supermans that like <laughs> right. superwoman was potentially that the was next. your halloween outfit this yeah, year. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah that's next best thing. <laughs> um and so yeah to, to the i think for me the moment when i realized that whoa this is kind of cool mm -hmm. was when jeff Loeb, the head of marvel tv right. called me and said uh he was like, Greg, three words are going to change your life. He was like, welcome to Marvel. And I was like, okay, I'm in. It's like, pretty cool phone calls again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's amazing. And then the second time was when I was putting on my my fistigons, my superpower, um, well, my gloves, so mm -hmm. to speak, which are a superpower. And when I put them on and like the Marvel executives and Jeff Loeb and our producer Emma was around, it was like a big moment. So when I was putting them on, it kind of felt like, wow, like, one, a lot of effort and emotion have gone into this power and, and, mm -hmm. and these gloves. And two, is like a lot of money has also gone into these gloves and right. making sure they work. Right. And so it was kind of like, okay, now the pressure's on. Like this, they've believed in me to be the superhero. Right. Now I am the superhero, now I need to perform. Look at that. If you could take any superpower from any of the characters on the show into real life, which one would you pick? Ooh, um, I think I may choose well, two, oh, I don't know. I mean, Ariella's powers that she, that she gets to talk to mm -hmm. a pet dinosaur is very cool. Like, I love animals, yeah. and so, like, I feel like I can have conversations. I wouldn't have picked that one. No, you wouldn't. It's <laughs> just a bit weird. Yeah, well, You're yeah. walking through the streets having a conversation with a pet dinosaur. It's just strange, Greg. That, along with your Superwoman comment. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> We yeah, should yeah. probably wrap this up, but we're not going <laughs> to. Yeah, my mum did tell me I was dropped on the head. Uh, <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, okay. Child, so okay. Here brilliant, we are. brilliant. English parents do say things like yeah, that, they, don't they? They, they do. make these really weird jokes that, <laughs> that you, when, nice. the older you get, you realise that wasn't quite right. <laughs> That's not a good joke to make. Um, but yeah, um, uh, Chase is a lacrosse player, but you don't play. I haven't seen you play lacrosse in the show yet. I know. Do you play lacrosse? No. No, my best friend actually teaches lacrosse. So a lot of time I'm on set and I'm like, hey, Dustin, uh, real quick. I don't know what this word means. Right. Please tell me what's going on. 
and thankfully he's like my kind of lacrosse. He should actually have a credit on the show. He's sort of like my lacrosse right. teacher. Okay. You know. Well, he got a credit on this show now. Okay, that's yeah, good. that's good. <laughs> It's where you start. He, Every credit counts. Industry, it's too. Hollywood. Yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. it holds it. Perfect. But, um, but yeah, no, I know nothing about the sport. Nothing about lacrosse. Football. Football. That's what you stick to. Football. football. That's, football. English that's football. It. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to wrap this up with a with a game. Oh. Well, not really a game. It's not really a game. I don't want to. I don't want to scare you. Okay. It's THR's top five. Oh, okay. Okay. Favorite actor growing up. Morgan Freeman. Mm. Movie you loved as a child that you wish you were in? Titanic. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Something you bought that you never thought you could afford? A ha uh, well, oof, yeah, probably my house. Okay. That's Which good. was like a big moment. Actually, it's a kind of, uh, if you're interested, I'll tell the story and you can okay. always cut it out if it's boring. Okay. <laughs> but um, I used to walk around the park with my mum in London. And she always used to say to me, she was like, I think the first house you're gonna buy is gonna be a pink house. Just buy a pink house for your mum. And then my house in LA is no, is no longer pink because I just couldn't have a pink <laughs> house. But when I bought it, it was a pink house. Right, right. So yeah, the pink house that I bought. I love that. Yeah, in, in the spirit of my, uh, of my mum, that is the first thing that I never thought I'd be able to afford. Once again, that was not what I expected <laughs> well, as yeah. an answer. Yeah. Pink house, okay. Um, favorite career moment so far? I think it's always going to have to be my first ever moment on set when Helena Bonham Carter played my mum in a film when I was 13 and I was quite intimidated to meet her because she was a big star and she was the sweetest woman ever and she was like hi son and I was like okay this is kind of cool and she literally took me under her wing and as much as a you know a woman can take a, a strange 13 year old mm -hmm. boy under mm -hmm. their wing and taught me on set and and she kind of like led me through this film and it was the most kind of surreal experience i then was going to teach her young boys how to play football uh, and so like this beautiful like friendship was formed and and i think that an moment start. yeah that yeah. moment i was very lucky to land my first ever job with such a talented actress and nice human mm -hmm. Uh, and so that was cool for me because I could have been scarred. I could have, mm -hmm. you know, done a film with you, for example. It would have been absolutely <laughs> horrendous. Would have been scarred. Would have been scarred. Thank you, Greg. Um, <laughs> last one. Hollywood crush. Oh, uh, uh, everyone. Past or present. Everyone. Past or present. Um, and you can't say me as the present. <laughs> <laughs> present, there's got to be a few. Margot Robbie is stunning and talented. I saw a, a film with Olivia Wilde two days ago called Drinking Buddies. Um, what about the past? Oh, the past. Once. Um, past. I, 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 there's so many names that are going through my mind. But they're all now. See, most people shy away from this question. Greg had like a list ready to reel them off. <laughs> so past meaning how old, what, what was my first ever like Yeah, first ever Hollywood was, crush. Um, Shakira. Because she was a little like spicy. Okay. Yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> On the note of spicy. We shall wrap this up. Greg Sulkin, uh, Runaways on Hulu now. Check it out.